We're here in Antarctica, about four or 500 miles from the South Pole. As you can see, there's a lot of ice. In fact, Antarctica holds about 90% of the world's ice, about 70% of the world's fresh water. The problem is the scientists have now started to realize that Antarctica is melting. And if this melts, humanity is in deep trouble. We're here with Dr. Eric Vignon, and uh, maybe you could tell us exactly where we are. Well, we are in the Marinelli Glacier on the southern tip of South America. Beyond that is the Antarctic Peninsula. And so what's happening to this glacier? This glacier is retreating extremely fast, and this is not part of the natural cycle. In the last 10, 20 years, they retreated more than the past century and even more. Uh, it's like changing the limit uh, on the freeway right. from 55 miles an hour to 550 miles an hour. <laughs> okay. Just calved right there. These changes are staggering. We actually don't have any idea how fast some of these systems can react to climate warming. What the past 20 years of data are showing us, it's they are reacting fast. How do we stop Antarctica from melting, or at least the West Antarctica ice shelf? I think uh, reducing our carbon emission is wishful thinking at this point. So stopping emissions isn't even enough, because we're going too fast. We're going too fast right now. This part of West Antarctica is going to fall apart no matter what. How much sea level rise is contained in the ice? So Pine Island, Twaits, and its neighbors contain about one meter global sea level rise. If that whole sector goes down to sea, uh, it will entrain the retreat of the rest of West Antarctica. And uh, we're talking about three to five meters sea level rise. So one meter would be a, a global catastrophic event, but three meters would be would re remap the world as we know it. Yes, absolutely. This is a holy shit moment. That's not holy shit. It's worse than holy shit. It's worse than holy shit. We're not ready for 